Hi there, and the Level Buddy here on behalf of the Warren Youth Project and the Amped Creative Industries Initiative. Here to give you three Ableton tips, things I do all the time that speed up my workflow and are just useful generally, more than anything. Uh, you can apply these ideas to other digital software if you so please. Robbie, run the titles. This is the default Ableton load up screen. You've got two MIDI channels, two audio channels, nothing on any of those channels at the moment, no instruments, no nothing. First thing I normally do is drag an EQ onto one of them and then drag a utility onto one of them too. Highlight them both by holding down shift, right click and group them. There we go. Now I've created an audio effect chain. It's not the most elaborate ever. I save that now by clicking the little save icon and call it track channel one. Oh, I've already done this before, so yeah, that's fine. So now I've got a device here, I can copy that onto every channel. And now they've all got an EQ and the utility plugin. Top tip two, now that I've got that as a audio channel there, I can right click on that and save that as a default audio track. So now if I go to add another audio track, it's already got the EQ and the utility on them. Same with MIDI, if I save that as a default MIDI track, now if I add another MIDI track, that's on there already. So that's two tips. Third tip, to save a bit more time, instead of having to do all that at the start, even dragging that on, took some time and copying those across, if I want to start with one, two, three MIDI tracks and three audio tracks, or more, and I might want to stick more things down in these bits, tip number three, is going into the preferences, go into the file folder tab, and then save current set as default. Save it. Now every time I load up Ableton, it will load up these tracks like this with these devices on them. Obviously that's a very simple startup, but it gets you going quicker than having to put all that stuff in at the start. So that's me done. That was three tips in a very short space of time, under three minutes. There is a ton of information about how to use Ableton online, uh, on YouTube, loads of how-to videos, things to get you started, explaining the basics. If there was anything you don't understand, uh, by all means, add that to the comments or go online and find out for yourself. We've got plenty of time to do that. Cheers, bye now.